What's up guys, got another review for you. These are a pair of the Nike ID Pendleton Janowskis. Now I was not expecting to have these shoes this soon. I created them on ID about two and a half weeks ago and they just came in today. I thought they were gonna take over a month to make so I'm really excited to have them in. I guess Nike's been stepping up their ID orders for the holidays so props to them for that. So Nike teamed up with Pendleton Woolen Mills back in November to offer these on ID. Pendleton Woolen Mills is a Portland-based company, and they specialize in wool and fine fabrics. Now, besides Janowski's, you can also customize Roshi's, Blazers, and Air Force Ones right now. I'm not sure how long these are going to be available. Definitely not forever, but probably throughout the end of the year. So, if you're interested in making a pair, I would definitely hop on it. These right here retail for $135. I was fortunate enough to have a bit of a discount, so I paid a little less than that. But honestly, I would pay the full $135 for these because they are that nice. Janowski's are probably my favorite shoe. I have about five other colorways. So when I saw the option to do these, I said, let's go for it. Uh, and then besides that, people have been dropping over $100 for general release Janowski's lately. Um, with the recent Digi Floros that were really hyped up, people were going crazy for them. So I figured if I was going to spend that much, why not make a customized pair uh, with some high quality material? So with that being said, let's get into the pair that I made. Um, as you can see, we have a tribal pattern going all throughout the shoe. Um, all the six Pendleton options on ID are Native American inspired. So you can uh, customize the quarter only with Pendleton wool and then have a solid color for the vamp. Or you can go Pendleton Pendleton, uh, which is what I did. I figured let's go all out and keep it uniform throughout the shoe. Um, so this is called Pendleton Gray on the website, um, but personally I would refer to it as Navy since there's a couple other options that look gray as well. Um, it's the one that I like the best and also Stefan Janowski actually posted a shoe that looks similar to this. So that kind of influenced my decision a little bit. <laughs> um, Alright, so yeah, we got the wool on the quarter and the vamp. On the toe box, I didn't do any stitching, so it's just uh, default kind of dark blue to go with the rest of the shoe. Um, my swoosh, it's going to be light iron ore. Uh, I don't know if it looks white on the camera, but it's actually pretty much silver in person. Uh, really nice embroidery. They did a nice do job on the stitching. Uh, for the binding, I went with blue recall. Uh, I wanted to get like a darker blue, but they didn't really have an option for that on the binding. So I just kind of tried to keep with the blue pattern. Um, there you can see that a little bit. Uh, for the eyelets, I went with obsidian, uh, just like a darker blue. And then for the laces, I also went with Obsidian. Uh, I'm really glad that they still offer leather laces on ID. Um, that's something that I wish Janowski still had. They're moving more to rope laces and flat laces now. So these are really nice uh, 3.5 millimeter leather laces. If we look at, towards the heel, um, all the Pendleton IDs come with a tag. Uh, I think that's a really nice touch. Gives it a little something that you don't see every day. Uh, looking on inside for the sole, I just have a regular zoom air insole. Um, Could have gone with cork, it adds five dollars to the price, but I have a couple cork insoles, so I'll just throw them in there myself if I feel like it. Um, look at the sidewall, went with a white sidewall and a light iron ore uh, sidewall stripe to match the swoosh. Uh, that's probably the one thing I would have changed on this. Um, it kind of just looks like a dull gray in person, this sidewall stripe. Um, I probably would have just gone with black or darker blue if I could redo it, um, but it's not a big deal. Uh, and then on the outsole, I just hit it with the gum outsole. So That's pretty much the shoe. Um, you got a white tongue tag. Uh, that's not customizable. They all come with that. Um, but overall, I think it's a really clean design. I'm really happy with how they turned out. Um, all the wool that Pendleton uses is 100% pure virgin wool. Uh, so this stuff feels great, and I'm really happy with it. Um, to be honest, it almost feels like suede on a couple other Janowskis I've had. But uh, I'm still really happy with the quality. Um, and I think it's a really unique uh, collaboration. Alright guys, that was a quick look and review of the Nike ID Pendleton Janowskis that I made. Hope you liked it. I would definitely recommend you make yourself a pair of these while they're still on the site. You can choose from some pretty unique patterns that aren't usually available, and the wool that they use on these is top notch. These are my first pair of IDs, and I'm happy with how they turned out. I think the build quality is great, and they are really well executed.
I don't think I'll wear these as a daily shoe. They're a bit loud for me, but when I want to stand out a little bit, I will definitely throw these on. I think they're going to last a long time, and I'm really happy with them. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we will have more reviews coming real soon.